In this video, we're going to talk about work, power, and energy, and we're going to talk about how they're all related to one another. Let's start with energy. There are many forms of energy, like gravitational, electrical, and nuclear. Sometimes we talk about energy in terms of the potential to do something, and that's potential energy. Or we talk about energy in terms of actually making an object do something, and that's kinetic energy. No matter what form of energy we're talking about, we measure energy in units of joules. Now usually we like to define energy in terms of how it's being used to do work. And so work is also measured in units of joules. And work is defined as a force acting on an object to change its position, or in other words, cause it to move. And we use the equation W for work is equal to force times displacement. So when you walk up the stairs at the movies uh, looking for a good seat, you're going to do work on your popcorn as you carry it up the flight of stairs. Let's say you traveled a vertical distance of 2.5 meters and you exerted a force of 4 newtons to carry the popcorn up the stairs. We can calculate the work that you did on the popcorn with the equation we just learned. And see, you ended up doing 10 joules of work on your popcorn. Now, what if instead of walking up the stairs, you ran up the stairs very, very quickly? It would feel like you did a lot more work on the popcorn. However, in terms of work, nothing's actually changed. The distance is the same, and the force is the same. What has changed is the amount of power you had to exert on the popcorn. Power is defined as the rate at which you do work. And power can be calculated with the equation power equals work over time. And we measure power in units of watts. So if you were to walk up the stairs, and it took you 25 seconds to get up the stairs, how much power did you have to exert? Well, power is equal to the work done, which we solved over here, 10 joules, over the time of 25 seconds. So your power was 0.4 watts. Now if you ran up the stairs and it only took you 5 seconds, what would your power be? Again, power is equal to work, 10 joules, over time, this time 5 seconds. And so your power would be 2 watts. You've probably commonly heard watts used to describe a light bulb. And this is how we usually measure the power that a light bulb uses. And so a 60 watt light bulb is going to be using 60 joules of energy every second. And that may seem like a lot. However, the hydro company bills you by the kilowatt hour. And this is the bill for the electricity that you use. And one kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 megajoules or in other words, 3.6 million joules. Oh, and by the way, a kilowatt hour cost about 10 cents. And so it's really not that expensive in the end. Now here's one last thing to think about. Cars are usually measured in units of horsepower, but they can also be used uh, measured in units of watts. Both, both horsepower and watts are both units of power. And so a car with a 100 horsepower engine is going to be the same thing as 746,000 watts. It really puts things into perspective when you compare your power you exerted on your popcorn, which was 2 watts as you ran up the stairs, to the amount of power of a small car. And that's work, energy, and power, and how they relate to each other.